Hi, Sagittarius. Ah! <laughs> Okay, well, before I even got to it, first, I'm Tyler DeSantis. This is your reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Sag. I fucking love Sages. These cards flew the fuck out. It's an important message for you, apparently. You are being deceived. You got somewhere, somehow, fucked up. But your luck is on you. Anything can happen at this point. Anything. But figure out where you're being deceived figure out who's it taking from you who's and it could be like not even that they're taking things they're like they could be taking your energy they could be taking um your ideas they could be fucking up shit that you didn't even realize they were fucking with mm. and sad just like you guys are such fun people to be around i love sad just like the first this is what made me believe in astrology and all this shit. The first three guys I was ever in love with, December 19th, 20th, and 21st were their birthday. So I'm like, ooh, three darkest days of the year. Like, of course. <laughs> so. But look at this shit. You guys, like, everything is going to turn out fine when you figure out the deceiver. And it might be self-deception because self-deception is the worst form. You're going to be in abundance. You're going to be so happy. You are going to be parties, celebration, friends, wedding. Um, mm. So the chariot with the pen nine of pentacles upside down. So you're trying to control these two opposing forces. It might be two different parts of yourself. It might be two different people. It might be two jobs. It might be two different things you're trying to balance. But you're not sowing your, you're not like plowing your seeds because it's kind of energy, like the Knights of Pentacles energy is slow. It always gets to its fucking destination because it's so slow and it's so determined. It has no doubt that it's going to get there. It's going to get there. But there's like, I guess like there's two things not being in alignment with each other. Maybe it's you and your boyfriend, you and a friend, you and a business partner, you and something whatever that thing is fill in the blank you're not what where do you need to either plow more like do you need to work harder or do you need to take a time to rest what do you need to do where you can balance your mind and bring these two things into one like stop doing like maybe you're just been pulling the fucking horse and plowing the field but it's like you been work 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 and it's like okay fuck man where's my where's my gifts where's my abundance where's my beauty where's my wheel of fortune fucking castle where is my chariot you have to figure out what's deceiving you who's deceiving you why it's deceiving you what you really want where to go from here the only where to go is up period Ooh. where do you need to pull back and not give to so many people where do you need to like move forward and give this is a very balanced energy but you're feeling left out in the cold right now you're feeling confused you're feeling alone you're feeling sad you're feeling and the full moon might have got you fucked up too you know but it was pretty intense so everyone's in this weird fucked up energy and it's just about merging together two sides of yourself, two, two whatever. So it doesn't necessarily have to be yourself. Ooh. So death. Where can you serve to change this death energy into... Hmm. into something that's going to grow. The Hierophant with the um, Seven of Pentacles says, like, where do you need to step up and lead now? 
Where do you need to be this voice of reason? Where do you need to be this on top of this group or the top of this in the top of this like club, association, work, anything where there's a group of people, you are the head of it or you are really close to being the head of it. So it's like it's your responsibility to let people know shit's gonna be cool, like you're fine. Like you don't have to completely kill yourself and just kill off the shit you don't like. Like two pages with the king of pentacles so you could be fucking with <laughs> any sign really everything except fire you got swords which are air cups which are water and pentacles which is earth so it might be a three way between these three people one's a king and two of them are pages so you got two you're fucking around with that might be I don't know this could be with friends too but be in the king energy always but since they are like this to me that signifies like some drama some dilemma with a bunch of different people and these could be yourself too um you might not be using your sword because you this one's all about not using your sword in battle yet you haven't done it you haven't had a battle yet so it's about preparing for that and stop being such an airhead and focus and simmer down and like I guess the king of pentacles is really your grounding root to it all where you have your page of cups on this side which emotions and your sword on this side which is your mind so it's about balancing those two things as well and I think that's what that chariot energy is but you also have the queen of pentacles so this could be two earth signs or two um so it could be you in this reading like it depends on if you're king or queen because sometimes they just show up as whatever it might be signify a time of abundance and happiness but from working together with people and mm, yep you got this so there is going to be a tower moment soon but that's gonna end all worry and all discomfort in your mind it's going to tear down all these old structures and that's what this death card is going with i think is though that type of energy and then you have the king of wands with the empress which says she's like move ahead with your fire breathe fire on this motherfucker light up the world like it is harvest time it is um You've been in this work energy. You've been tilling the land. You've been working, work, 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 work. But you have this new opportunity right now, and it's going to lead you to victory. So stop worrying and jump. Whatever feels uncomfortable right now, jump. Whatever feels like it's going to lead you into a new place you've never been in, jump. Um, you can't ever get ahead if you've never failed so your highest high is only as low as your lowest low period so if you've never been up you can never be down and if you've never been down you can never be up you just have to you have to do both this is what life is you have to do both okay time to let go move the fuck on be fucking grateful shit could be so much worse what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, oh yeah, here it fucking is. Okay, well, there you have it, guys. Whatever you're waiting on, whatever you're doing, whatever is breaking down, know it's for your highest and utmost good. God is not doing anything without your help. You have control over a lot. And sometimes it's the best way to gain control is to surrender which makes no sense, but if you're paddling upstream, you're not getting very far. All you got to do is turn around and let go. So, <laughs> I will see you guys in March. Um, and yeah, Sag, have a beautiful month. And get that shit done. Check out my website too. Comment, like, share, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Um, but check out my art. It's here and here. It's like on the website. Check out um, my blog, all the shits support me. <laughs> Bye.